Have you ever wondered to yourself, what is exercise and how can I help you? Hello, my name is Gustavo Lopez. I am currently taking speech 1315 with Ms. Ramirez, and today I will be talking about what is exercise. So, according to Foman, exercise involves engaging in physical activity and increasing the heart rate beyond resting levels. It is an important part of preserving physical and mental health. Um, like Feldman says, exercise is really good for a person's lifestyle. Um, it is really good for somebody as well for a person's mental health. Uh, because a lot of people don't realize that exercise doesn't only help you uh, with your physical attributes, but it also helps you maintain a good mood and maintain a good mental health. So a lot of people normally don't get into exercises because, or exercising, being uh, physically active because they think that they, they they have to do something that they don't like, like maybe run or maybe, um, you know, lift weights at the gym, but that's not the case at all. There are different types of exercises. According to Harvard, the four most important types of exercises are aerobic strength, aerobic exercises, strength exercises, balance exercises, and stretching exercises. So now aerobic exercises are exercises that help you with your heart. So to speed up your heart rate and your lungs. So these would be cardio exercises like running outside or playing some type of sport. Strength exercises are are exercises that help you with strength and building muscle. Normally we see younger teenagers and young adults doing these type of exercises to build that muscle. But these exercises are also good for middle-aged adults because the older you get, the weaker the muscle gets. So it is important for adults, middle-aged middle, middle -aged adults to exercise their muscles so they don't lose that strength and they could still be still stay strong and don't really lose a lot of that strength that they have. The third one is balance exercises. So balance exercises are typically done for, they're, they're typically done by um, adults as well, older adults, because the, the, when we get older, some systems in our body stop uh, working properly. So our vision, our ears, and our legs can stop working properly and slowly deteriorate. So if that's the case, we can start losing our balance. We'll eventually lose our balance so it is important for older adults to keep that balance and try exercises um, that help you maintain that balance. So an exercise they can do is stand on one foot on each leg and maintain their balance for as long as they can. And now the other one is stretching exercises. So stretching exercises are important as well they are important to uh, middle-aged adults, but they should they younger adults should also practice to stretch. Now, stretching for middle-aged adults is really good, and it's a really good exercise because the older you get, the smaller the muscle gets, and when when the muscle gets smaller, it's not as flexible. So maybe if you try to reach down for something when you're a little bit older, since you don't really stretch or work out your muscle it's gonna start hurting and it might you might even tear it. So it is really important for older adults to do this, to stretch, so that way they, they don't tear their muscle or get injured. As well for younger adults, younger adults think that since they're young, no, uh, nothing's gonna happen to them, but it is also good for them to stretch that way because the same thing can happen. They can either go into a workout, maybe lift the weight without stretching first, and if they lift it and the muscle's not warmed up, then they will also tear the muscle. And it takes a while for recovery for that. So aerobic exercises, like I mentioned earlier, help uh, the heart. Strength exercises help the muscle. Um, balance exercises help your balance and and stretching helps your muscles. So how can exercise benefit you overall? According to Mayo Clinic, the health benefits of regular exercise and physical activity are hard to ignore. Everyone benefits from exercise regardless of age, sex, and physical ability. So this is the one that is the most important for me, this point, 
because like I mentioned, a lot of people think that exercise only helps them physically, but they have no idea all the about all the other benefits that come with exercising. So one thing that comes with exercises, like I said, is physical change. So if you're a little chunky, if you're a little chubby, um, if you're overweight, with a good diet and good exercising, you will lose weight and you will start feel, you will start looking good. And besides that, it also helps internally. So it helps to prevent a lot of types of cancers. It helps to prevent cardiovascular disease. It helps you stay healthy and your lungs and your heart. But now, with that weight loss that people get, this is where it comes. This is where exercise helps you mentally. So people, it helps mentally because it boosts your confidence. It boosts your confidence. You feel good about yourself. You feel like you can do anything. And that is good. And a lot of people don't have that confidence. So it is good that exercise does this. So exercise boosts your confidence. And the other thing, it also shows you discipline. And discipline is something very important because if you get it from the exercise and you start disciplining yourself to, let's say, you wake up, you don't want to go to the gym one day, but you discipline yourself to wake yourself up from the bed and go. You will imply discipline in anything that comes in your path, whether it be school or something personal that you have. And believe me, you will have a better life. So in conclusion, exercise is involving yourself in some sort of physical activity. There are many ways you can exercise and get yourself physically active. So if you're not exercising yet, I really recommend you start doing it because it has a lot of good things and good benefits for your health. Thank you.